For more than 40 years now, the Plymouth Community Ambulance Association in Montgomery County, PA, has been helping people and saving lives. Well, now, three former leaders of that group are under investigation. Robin McIntosh is live in Plymouth Township with the latest on the story. Hi, Robin. Yeah, hi, Mark. And the Plymouth Community Ambulance Association raises millions of dollars every year for its operations. But tonight, as you say, three former officers of the, of the association are under investigation by the district attorney's office for allegedly spending money not on medical supplies and technical support, but spending the money on themselves for things like Rolex watches and visits to strip clubs. The Plymouth Community Ambulance Association relies on volunteers to help answer the more than 10,000 calls a year they get for medical assistance. But tonight, three former officers of the largest volunteer ambulance association in Montgomery County are under investigation by the district attorney's office. Yesterday, we conducted a search of a residence uh, of Harvey Grossman, and the purpose of that search was to look for evidence of criminal activity, specifically items that we believe were purchased for his home, for his family, using the money of the Plymouth Ambulance Company. Harvey Grossman is the former financial officer of the Ambulance Squad. And just last year, he was a jury foreman in the acquittal in federal court of Commerce Bank Executive Dennis Carlson. Now Grossman, the former president and operating officer, who have not been charged with any crimes, are facing some tough questions after a search of Grossman's Whitpain Township home by county detectives this week. We had a very long laundry list, everything from kitchen appliances, home appliances, furniture, uh, jewelry. The search warrant lists thousands of dollars of expenditures Grossman and the two others allegedly made using Ambulance Association checks and credit cards, purchases including these two high-end SUVs and this black racing trailer. Morale is very low because, you know, nobody thinks this could happen to them. Montgomery County Sheriff John Durrani has voluntarily taken over reins of the association, assuring the community served by Plymouth that operations will continue. This is a good organization. They're here helping the sick, the elderly, and accident victims. And they're providing a great service, and they have been. And the bottom line here, those hurt most by all of this, may be the volunteers themselves here at the Community Ambulance Association. Once again, this investigation is ongoing, and right now, no criminal charges have been filed. We're live in Plymouth Township. I'm Alvin McIntosh, CBS 3, Eyewitness News. Robin, thank you.